All right, so I'm here with a layout. And doc, I used some watercolors and I just brushed horizontally different colors and then did some My photo mat is got hearts on it and all, everything else are all scraps from the kit. Um, this is uh, page 10, the 10th layout I'm doing using the May Kit, the 10th and last and final layout using the May Kit before I move on to June. So, I just have bits and pieces left, some pretty much just paper scraps. So, by the end of the kit, I pretty hard suck. I usually have... A few sheets left. So by this point I have just scraps. I didn't keep the branding strips or anything like that. So here we go. Um, Hearing a noise, maybe that's Coco drinking water. I have taught Coco, let's get them all excited, and she knows to go chase squirrels. I only did that like twice. She is super smart. I only did that like twice. I said, Go get them, get them, get them, let's get the squirrels. And I ran out and chased off the squirrels, and then she chased after me. After that, all I gotta do is say, Get them, get them, go get them. And she'll go out and chase the squirrels. <laughs> I'm hoping that that'll. I see. So if they go from a bird feeder, I can send Coco out there. I did move my bird feeder to the backyard, so I have both bird feeders in the backyard. Um, because even hanging it from the antenna my dad had um, didn't. No, they. I left it on the hanging pole and just stuck the pole down in the one of them off the pole that the antenna's on. And you no, know, they climbed the they climbed the side of the house, and then went, got to the antenna pole, and then climbed onto the pole that the bird feeder was hanging on. So I said, I'm just gonna have to move that bird feeder to the backyard. I like it in the front yard, so I can when I'm in my scrapbook room, I can watch the birds. But thanks, squirrels. Now I cannot. But anyway, back to my layout. So I'm using the puppy stickers that are American Crafts Dreamer thickers. Um, that's a hopes and dreams is where my title comes from, and I'm going to use some clear stickers, butterflies, flowers, and that that serves as my title. And those are crepe papers, all heart. I'm also going to use those butterflies, which are cut from a pattern paper from a past hip kit. Just don't remember which month. And then that is pretty much all that is used for this layout, I do believe. It's just figuring out what I want to use, how I want to place it, and then place it. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, you got a yawn in there. Patton's been super playful lately. I was trying to pet him last night and he was, I mean, attacking my hand like going for blood. I was like, yeah, I still got a mark on my hand where he spit me, scratched me, whatever, and a scratch. 
was like, good night, cat. And he was in my bed. He come to my bed and got in bed with me. And I, well, because Reese had gotten in bed with me first and then Pat and Coco didn't get in bed with me last night because I mowed half the yard and then I mowed the other half today because it was too hot and raining. So I mowed half and she goes outside and plays fetch with me and her leg has been doing really, really good. And um, yesterday she it was hurting her so I had to give her a doggy aspirin and every night I do give her two glucosamine but I gave her an extra one. So... I get her, I don't know how you pronounce it, cons, consquin, cosquin, cosquin, um, chondroitin and glucosamine with MSM for her joints. You start off giving them four for four to six weeks. I gave her four pills for a lot longer than that because she had injured herself playing fetch. So I wanted to do something to help with her joints and it took that long for it to to uh, start getting better and then yesterday playing fetch while I mowed she did something poor baby but she's doing better today just no walk this morning and and no fetch Usually I take her for a walk about 7, 7.30 every morning, and we play fetch on our walk. So half the walk, she has to be on a leash because these there's one particular house on our way. They have a little white dog, and it will come out full charge at Coco. They don't put it on a leash. I'm like, come on, guys. You guys got a backyard with a fence. I don't even have that much. But I have Coco on a leash, and... That dog comes to barking and charging at her, and Coco's like, let me at it, let me at it. <laughs> so I keep her on a leash, and then once we get past the houses that have dogs, I let her off the leash, and, and we play fetch. Let me scratch your belly. Let me pet your belly. Why are you going to bite me? Anyway, so I'm just gluing everything down basically I'm just going to add the last last bits and pieces or at least try to add try to finish it off um, nothing seems to work for me so I'm trying to go to the clear phrase stickers and see what happens. What? Oh, I was gonna grab your ball if you let go of my shirt. Oh, how did this get off? Let go of me. All right. So let's see. I'm going to watch my NCIS Los Angeles, but I had to pause it while I do this process. In between saving and opening a new one, I'll watch it. Because I got 26 voiceovers to do. And I'm all caught up. I haven't even done any new process. Well, these are the newest ones. But... <laughs> anyway, sorry. So that pretty much completes my layout. So when I have more done, I'll be back with those. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.